Hi everybody, this is going to be kind of like a screwed up episode. I'm a bit sad today. Um, I don't read news. I think I have mentioned that before. I don't read news. I don't follow news anywhere. But then you get the news secondhand anyway these days because of the social media. So I got this news from uh, Facebook as well that uh, Notre Dame c caught fire. And I thought it was a hoax because that's the kind of thing that people use as hooks because this is a very well-known building. Uh, but then um, I googled it and I found that it was true. So it kind of bummed me out a little bit. And I was actually thinking whether I should talk about it today or not. Uh, because it's not really an episode, me just reacting to this sad news. But then I thought if I can't talk about things that are on my mind, then what's the use of having a personal blog and why should I have one? Um, so yeah, I was going to share some pictures from the Notre Dame, from my visit from the, to the Notre Dame uh, in September last year as part of my, because that was the first day um, in Paris. So the second half of the day I was around Notre Dame and I loved saying, telling people that my hotel was like within 10 minutes walk of the, uh, the cathedral. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'll share those pictures and the uh, video from there, but that's like, it's not like, not like, you can ask like, why am I sad? You can easily say to Sunny, why are you sad? Because you're not Christian, you're not Gothic, uh, you don't live in Paris, you're not French or whatever, but it, it is a little bit sad. I don't know why, but I've, I've not even been inside. I did not even go inside when, while I was there because uh, as you say, I'm, I'm not uh, Christian, I'm not Gothic and I was going to go there at in another trip um, but still it, it human beings we live by symbols so all these huge buildings great buildings these things and works of art we create them in order to lift ourselves out of the ordinary mundane day-to-day -day life and um, aspire for something greater something bigger so uh, that was like a signal um, that was a symbol of magnificence that building it still is uh, they have um, they have committed to rebuilding it. The President Macron of France, he has committed to rebuilding this. But, uh, well, I hope they do, and, and I hope it's still as magnificent as it was. Um, yeah, um, my favorite part of that was uh, there's a garden in the back, like kind of like a park uh, in the back, quite big, and uh, lots of benches there, and you can just sit there and look at the cathedral. Uh, and just relax and this is something that I liked in the French people because wherever they have planned these things no matter how huge how magnificent something is or whether it's a piece of art or whether it's something just like a garden they always plan for uh, some place for people to sit and relax or to have some food or to walk uh, so it's always like a part of the quality of life uh, rather than just something pretty to look at so I quite admire that in the French people um, this is pretty much all I have to say today because I hope I'll have a better episode tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's a dentist visit, so can't guarantee anything. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the pictures that I took there on the first day. It, it's, it's, uh, it was a really, really, really beautiful, magnificent, very imposing building. And in case you don't know, in case you have not been there yet, uh, it's like a small island called El de la Cité which means the island of the city uh, and uh, the Notre Dame is on the on the edge of that on the very bank of the like a, on the edge of the island and uh, there's another island right next door kind of which is called uh, Ile de Saint Louis Saint Louis Island that is also quite nice I'll talk about that as well because it was my favorite island there um, it's got only those two islands and there's another small one which I will also cover in my Paris travel series later on which is called the Ile Signe uh, Swan Island, Island of the Swans, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll talk about that another time. So right now, um, just uh, see the pictures and uh, the video that I did while I was there. Hello, it's me again. Yeah, I know you guys are getting bored with all the live videos, but the important thing is I am not. So as long as I don't get bored, this will continue. So, as you can see, let me get that in the frame. Yeah, that's the Notre Dame, the Paris, the famous cathedral that I showed you before. And let me show you something very interesting. There we go. So, 
you see that is the cathedral, the cathedral, and there is a bridge that connects it to the main body, mainland. And then looky there, yes, what's that? That, my friends, is the body of water between two islands. Yes, you heard me right. This one, where the cathedral, where Notre Dame is situated, is called L'Ile de la Cité, as in island of the city. And this one on our right is a different island called Little Saint Louis, as in, yeah, you guessed it right, Saint Louis Island. And they are so close together that the water between them is bridged with a small bridge, which I remember my geography right would be called the Pont Saint Louis, Saint Louis Bridge. But we'll find out later when I go over there later. We will cross that bridge when we reach it. Thank you very much for watching. This is day 31 and I hope to see you tomorrow in Battery Spirits. Bye.